Hello my viewers, welcome, welcome, welcome back my diehard viewers, my old viewers, my new viewers, you are welcome to my channel, it's your girl Peshwarya, in case you are new don't forget to subscribe and comment. So guys, in today's video, as I told you earlier guys, I like doing a video of african village kids and the reason why i do a lot of kids video is because i want to show you guys how kids grow up in africa how kids are living in africa and mostly the poor kids the unfortunate one who doesn't go to school uh, the ones who are very unlucky maybe to get food so in one word i like doing poverty life of african kids so guys in my today video i have a very young boy of eight years old this boy as you can see him he is a very hard working boy but he is a disabled mentally physically faith a uh, uh, mentally and psychologically uh, he is not a uh, well like he is a special need kid and for that reason guys this will shock you because this the reason why this boy lives alone it's because her mom left this kid because he is disabled yes the mom left learn away from this kid and left him with no one to take care of him and the reason why I say he has no one to take care of him it's because his dad is a is a is a drunkard. His dad is a he is always on alcohol. Yeah, he is always on alcohol twenty four or seven. So this boy, he is the one who is taking care of himself. He is the one who is taking care of his dad. And he's the one who is taking care of the house and the farm. So this guy, this boy, has to wake up very early in the morning. Uh, if there is something to cook, he cook. If there is none, they just stay like that. And most of the time, this boy, he is always uh, given something to cook by the neighbors, and also the church that. This boy go, they help a lot. He told me all the clothes that he wear, they are coming from the church. And I'm very happy for that church. May God bless you for helping this poor kid. So this boy is always being helped by the, the neighbors and the church because his dad is a don't care. His dad is not there for him. He is just here, but he doesn't help this kid. This kid life is actually bad because he doesn't even go to school. He is supposed to be in a special classes, the special needs kids classes, but he doesn't attend because most of the time he doesn't uh, cook something. So he is always on empty stomach. And he can't go to school like that. This kid also doesn't have someone to take him to school. He doesn't have someone to pay the school fee or buy the uniform. So as you can see, guys, this boy is, is yes, he is a disabled. Is, but he is a very hardworking boy. I was very happy to see how he take care of himself. He is always trying to be clean, wash his clothes, clean the compound. He does cook. He does everything. Eh? And also, he has a joint a problem. He has joint problem. And he also forgets a lot. So most of the cases that really happens to him, and it's actually a dangerous one, is that he forgets a lot. So I was told just recently he had to put on fire and 
when he put on fire on the lamp that they used to use as a, a the light for themselves during the night he forgot because he has a forgetting issue he forgot and i don't know what happened but the house was on fire but the neighbors did help him to put the fire off so that's about this boy he is a disabled he forgets a lot a he has a joint problems and that's the reason why his her mom a uh, lena away which is very sad that a mom can lena away from the kid from the kid just because he is a disabled so this boy as you can see after he has done with the work of the house he goes straight to the farm as i told you he is the one who take care of the whole family a uh, like he is the one who take care of himself and his dad so he has done all the house chores and now it's time for her for him to go to the farm he is digging because he is the one who has to plant these bananas plant the beans so that by the end of the season they can get something to eat this is the work of this young and disabled boy as you can see here he is trying to put on a loop on his shirt because the shirt keep on falling down because it's big as i told you all the clothes are given uh, from church the the old one that people give to the church and the boy is given so they are big they are very big so he just got some loop from the bananas and he is trying to uh, he is trying to tie the shirt so that it can't fall it's very unfortunate and it's very sad a very cute and a hard working boy has no one to take care of him yes you can see this is the life of this young boy i just felt like crying seeing a very hard working disabled boy living alone and he is actually doing it very good like he is just trying his very best to survive here guys as you can see he is climbing a very very tall tree of avocados a very very big avocado tree i tried to tell him not to a uh, climb here but he told me if he doesn't climb this tree he will go hugly so he does all this like a uh, twice a week he climbs here he try to a uh, get some avocados put them in the house and when they are ripe they eat them that's how him and his dad survive most of the time he told me when there is no food and he has some avocados which are ripe he just put some salt on the avocado and he eats and that is a full meal for him so here he climbed the tree because he told me he doesn't have any avocado in the house so he had to get some put them in the house for them to be ready to eat you can see that's him in this tall tree and you can hear them telling a uh, the i said told you he is a disabled but he is a very hard working boy i'm sure if he had someone to look after him he wouldn't even be this disabled as they call him because i could see how hard working he was though he he is not mentally a uh, upright but he is a very hard working boy he is also very active and very happy boy he is a very happy one and very very talkative i like this boy i just i just wish i had 
much to offer. I could take him to school. I love showing you guys my my village life, kids life. I love showing you how kids survive or how kids in Africa are coping with the situation of the their families and the parents. And this is one of them that he's a disabled and the mom ran away from him. And the dad who is supposed to take care of him is a, an alcoholic. He is an alcohol addicted. He is always on alcohol 24-7. He doesn't save for the food. He doesn't save for his son. Or he thinks it's about alcohol. But I'm happy this boy is trying as much as possible to survive. So afterwards, as you can see, he has now avocados and he has bananas. And he is going to prepare these bananas for him and his dad to enjoy the meal. And that's all I did for today, guys. Bye and thank you for watching.